Shalom everybody and welcome to Rega Beivrit. I'm your host, Rabbi Shapira. I hope you've been enjoying every week going through this parasha with us and learning Hebrew. This week we are in Parashat Vayetze. And we read about the journey that Yaakov, our father, is taking all the way from Be'er Sheva to Haran. I would like to look specifically with you today at this journey and the heavenly encounter that Yaakov, our father, has in a vision that he received from the Lord. We read in the Hebrew, Vayachalom ve'ine sulam mutzav arza ve'rosho magia ashamayma ve'ine malche Elohim olim ve'yordim bo. I want to look at this specific verse with you, which translated, as you're probably very familiar with, to a letter that Yaakov seeing, and he's seeing those malachim ascending and descending upon it. We can learn a lot about this particular uh, vision. First of all, we have to understand that this vision is a vision for the future. How do we know that this is a vision for the future? Well, first of all, we need to understand something about the letter itself. The letter itself, it says that the head of the letter reaches to the heaven. Well, where does the letter start? It started on earth. Now, pay attention to the Hebrew here, because it says that there are malachim that are ascending and descending through it. So we have to understand through it what the it represent and who are those messengers. The Hebrew word here is the word malach. Malach uh, sometimes translated as angels, but in Hebrew, the word Malach simply means a messenger. And we notice that the Malachim are ascending and then they are also descending. You see, the word in Hebrew, Olim, like the word Aliyah, means to go up. The text doesn't say that they descend and then they then, then ascend, but on the opposite, they are ascending and then they are descending. From that, we can understand that the malachim, the messengers, are not angelic beings, but they rather represent each and every one of us. The malachim representing the descendants of Jacob. And from that we learn that the important rule that goes like that, the works of the fathers are assigned to the sons. Meaning that this entire vision that Jacob is seeing here is a sign for us today to the descendant, to the Malachim of Jacob. Now notice here that they see a sulam. There is a sulam. The word sulam in Hebrew is equivalent to the number 130 if you write it without the vav, which is equivalent to the word Sinai. The, the letter is, is representing by the Torah. The Torah is what's causing us to ascend up. And even in our tefillah, for example, in the Kedushah that we recite daily, when we say holy, 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 and we get on our tiptoes, we are sharing our desire to go up, to, to, to ascend and why is it that we are to ascend? We are to ascend because we want to see the kingdom of heaven from above and <clears throat> bring it down. Now, we have a problem in this text because it says that the Malachim, 
and they call it here the Malachi Elohim, which is you and I, the messenger of God, ascending and descending on, on him. The Hebrew word here, bo, is important. The word bo speak about somebody rather than an object. So who is this somebody? The Zohar gives us the answer. He says that is the one who is called the Keves. Keves is the word for lamb. We know from the Brit Achadasha who it is referring to. Who is the Keves? He is the Mashiach. The letter is the Torah. The letter is also the Mashiach. They're both. But let me give you now a third interpretation of this wonderful verse. Because you see, Yeshua is the living Torah. He is the living Torah. He is the Torah, and, and one who ascended in him is also going to love the Torah. Now, the interesting thing, this, the word Sulam can also be written with the Vav. When you add the Vav to the word Sulam, you get the value of 136 which Chazal says is equivalent for the word kol. Kol in Hebrew is the word for voices or voice. So today we are having opportunity to ascend up, not just through Messiah and through the Torah, but we're missing a third element, which is the element that is perhaps the most important element. It's your voice. There's the scripture says, the voice is the voice of Jacob and the hands and is the net end of Esau. The voice of Jacob is what's causing us to rise up. And that friend is tefillah, prayer. So let's put this together. The element of ascension of bringing down the kingdom of heaven uh, is including three aspects. Number one is knowing the keves, the lamb ascending through Messiah. Also number two, the latter represent the same Hebrew value of the word Sinai, Sinai, Torah, mitzvot, and number three. Perhaps the most important one, the word sulam, is equivalent for the word for call of voices. Raising our voices, praying. And in those three things, we can fulfill this commission that Jacob, our father, has left us with. Of bringing the kingdom of God from heaven all the way down to earth. Hope you're blessed by this Shi'ur in Rega Bivrit, let us today ascend through Him, through the Torah, through the Mashiach, and through our prayers. Shalom, everybody. Mm-hmm.